This is a topic video for finding solutions in an interval for an equation with sine and cosine using double angle identities. Let's begin by looking at a problem. Find all solutions to the equation in the interval 0 to 2 pi of 2 sine of x plus cosine of 2x equals 1. For this problem and problems like these, it is important that you are familiar with the trigonometric identities. We are going to be using the double angle formulas to simplify the equation, since we can see the cosine of a double angle in the problem, cosine of 2x. What are the double angle formulas? The double angle formulas for sine and cosine are the following. We will use these identities to make substitutions with the goal of expressing the equation in terms of only one trigonometric function, and only one angle. Since cosine of 2x is part of the double angle formulas, we can substitute one of these three expressions. Because our problem contains sine in the first term, we want the substitution to contain only sine so that it makes our work easier. Therefore, we substitute 1 minus 2 sine squared of x for cosine of 2x. Doing this, we write 2 sine of x plus 1 minus 2 sine squared of x equals 1. We can then subtract 1 from each side of the equation and write 2 sine of x minus 2 sine squared of x equals 0. Next, we factor out 2 sine of x. Why can we factor out 2 sine of x? We use the distributive property. Just as 2x times 1 minus x is equal to 2x minus 2x squared, 2 sine of x times 1 minus sine of x is equal to 2 sine of x minus 2 sine squared of x. After factoring, we write 2 sine of x times 1 minus sine of x equals 0. Can we set both 2 sine of x and 1 minus sine of x equal to 0 like we do with polynomial equations? Yes, that is exactly what we do. We have 2 sine of x equals 0 and 1 minus sine of x equals 0, and we need to solve each equation for x. Dividing 2 from both sides of the equation, we write sine of x equals 0. Adding sine of x to both sides of the equation, we write sine of x is equal to 1. Now we can use our knowledge of the unit circle to determine the x values. Recall that the coordinate points x, y on the unit circle are cosine of x, sine of x. We can see that the sine values, or y values of the points on the unit circle, equal 0 when the angle is 0 or pi, and the sine values equal 1 when the angle is pi over 2. Shouldn't we also look at the coterminal angles? Good question. We do not need to write any coterminal angles because we are asked to find the x values on the interval from 0 to 2 pi, which is the interval of one unit circle rotation. So our final answer is x equals 0, pi over 2, or pi.